Hey folks, you know how when you pull in background music in Adobe Audition or any other DAW, it's too long or too short? In this video, I'm going to show you how to make it the perfect length in Adobe Audition 2017 CC. Let's talk about it. Hey folks, welcome into steps to voiceoversuccess.com and earlhallstudio.com, where we show you, the brand new and upcoming voiceover artist, how to build and grow a successful voiceover business. Today, if you want to hear more of this type of thing, make sure that you hit the subscribe button so you can stay up to date on all my videos that I produce Monday through Friday. Just make sure to go ahead and tick that bell so you get instant notifications. Now, today we're gonna to be talking about this background music thing. So many times as a brand new voiceover artist, you do a great VO piece and now you've gotta bring in this background music and you've gotta make it the perfect length. What do you do normally? You just shorten it up, you chop it off, and you fade out the back, and sometimes that may work fine, but what if you want that really cool back end as it, you know, as it ends in that particular music file. What if you want that? Then what do you do? You chop off the front and you maybe make a mistake on where to start? I'm going to show you in Adobe Audition tw uh, CC 2017 how to perfectly do this with just a couple of clips. Let's go over to the computer and watch this real short tutorial that's going to show you the magic in Adobe Audition CC 2017. Okay, I've got this session of Adobe Audition CC 2017 open, and I'm going to show you how this thing works with making any music the exact length that you want to go in the background. You know, you pull in a background music track from, you know, whatever site you're a member of, and it's too long or it's too short. There's a magic trick in Adobe Audition that makes all of that go away. So in the top track, I've got a voiceover. And in the bottom track, I just pulled in some music. Um, here's the audio track. Are you a busy entrepreneur feeling down, perhaps even exhausted? The Botanica gift box. All right, so that's the voiceover. Now what I'm going to do, this is the this is the background music. And as you can see, it is way too long for what I need done for this audio. So here's what I'm going to do. All right. So now this whole track for Botanica is about 49 seconds long. So what we're going to do normally when you um, create a commercial or something like that, we have about three seconds of music before it starts in. So I'm going to put that about right there. And that's going to give me three, four, five, uh, yeah, about six seconds of music. And then we're going to punch in the beat right on there. But then what we're going to have to do is bring that. But before I start editing, all right, let's do this. I need it to be about 49 seconds long, this track. So what you're going to see over here under the properties menu enable remix this is the secret weapon in adobe audition this little feature right here enable remix so it's mixing that up okay so now the remix is done the remix is done now what i can go over here and see this right here this target uh target duration let's just make that about 39 seconds so I'm just going to take the one off and put the zero. See how that comes to, see how that comes. But okay, that's still a little short. No problem. No problem. Just come back in here. Make this a little longer. Maybe 50 seconds. See how that looks. That looks a whole lot better. But let's try it at 49 seconds. Perfect. <clears throat> okay. You see how? This has basically made it so that it goes out just when it should go out. Now you can play with the with the uh, the target duration for a few moments or whatever, however you want to do that. But let's go in here because we're going to need to bring down this volume a bit. So we're going to add a couple clicks here. Let's bring that volume down right when the voice starts. And 
that should be good there. Let's skip ahead to the end. And we want that volume to come back up at the end to 0 dB. And that should sound pretty good. So let's go back. And let's take a listen to what that sounds like. Are you a busy entrepreneur feeling down? Perhaps okay. exhausted? The Botanica Gift Box by Holistic Fashionista features our latest potions. Okay, so rituals, there you have it. This is it. how you make any of your background music tracks the perfect length that you need in Adobe Audition. I hope this tip has been helpful. Leave your comments below and let me know what you think about this and ask me about any tips you want to find out about in Adobe Audition as well. That was simply amazing, right? I mean, when I first discovered this little trick, it saved me time, it saved me headache, and it made my audio sound much better because I wasn't clipping and chopping and pulling this out and that out and trying to mix this in and that in. No, let Adobe Audition CC 2017 do it for you and it will do it perfectly. I've got some links in the description that you might want to check out, so make sure that you do that. Also, don't forget to subscribe and you can get more great videos like this Monday through Friday. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you on tomorrow.